I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, be sure to make a comment on this video down below because why? Well, we're giving away the Emacs Tiny Hawk this month. Coming up at the end of the month on December 2nd, we're giving away this little kit right here with everything you see inside the box, the little Tiny Hawk itself, the charger, and we're gonna give away one of the Emacs batteries along with it. This is such a cool little quad. Um, and I'm going to ship this to your door. So make a comment down below. And also, if you want to support me on Patreon, that's super awesome as well because we're doing a lot of live chats and we're also giving back to the channel, guys, um, that support me here on the channel because you have some questions and I have answers and uh, I'd love to help you out. So we're looking at the Flywolf today, Flywolf 405 Fly Controller. And these guys seem to be new out there. I have not seen this company before. They contacted me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to see one of their flight controllers. And I looked at it on their website and immediately I said, I would definitely like to see one of these because the specs on this are pretty impressive. It also comes with a strap, which is kind of cool. It comes with this little strap that says, woo, let's fly. That's kind of cool. The little fly woo logo on the other side there. Feels like a nice sturdy strap sort of uh, got double stitching in here. It looks decent. It'll hold a 4S1300. Let's see what else is in this box. We have something sneaking in the corner over here. This looks like your dampener standoffs right here. This is kind of cool that these are in the box. Those are posts with rubber grommets. Then we have another board here. Nope, this is accessories bag. This is your harness and an extra ribbon cable. That's for the onboard gyro. We have an extra piece of foam tape in there for the gyro to sit on. This is one of those floating gyro style receiver, uh, all-in-one flight controllers. This thing is looking pretty intense. Now, I have had some issues with these types of boards in the past. And let me just go ahead and zoom in, not the board itself, but the floating gyro. If you do a really sharp movement with your quad on one axis, say, let's find the front end right here. It's going right here, this is the front. Say you do a hard left turn, really fast hard left, and then back to center. Sometimes this little tape will actually give a little bit in that amount of G-force and cause the accelerometer to overreact. And when that does that, it makes the whole quad violently twitch. And that's been an issue with me in the past. So if I was to do a build for this flight controller for you guys, what I probably would recommend you doing, if you decide to buy one of these, take this soft foam off here and take a little square tab of VHB. This will come right off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off uh, because I wouldn't fly it with this foam on here. Um, you might fly it with it on there and it might just work just fine, but for me, I know it flies really solid with a piece of 3M VHB on the bottom, and that's just a way better option. And as you can see, this just peels right off. I'm able to just use my fingernails really carefully and get most of that adhesive off. And now I would take a little piece of VHB, and it's actually gonna sit just a little bit flatter once I get it down with a piece of VHB. Um, but I wouldn't fly this with that really spongy stuff. Even though they give you an extra piece in there, in my experiences, I've had issues with that. So um, that is definitely a big no-no for these types of gyros. Um, and some people haven't had any problems with them, but for me, that's just my experiences. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over this from front to back for you. I think it's a really attractive looking flight controller and there's a lot of options on here to talk about. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that front rail and I'll show you what's going on there. So typically on the front end is where your camera plugs into and, and normally in the very back is where your VTX is gonna plug into. But this one seems to be set up with your camera and your VTX on the very front rail, which is totally fine. The cables will reach from either direction. If you mount your VTX back here, you can still reach this point up here. Now we have video in on the very left and that's where your camera is gonna go into. So your signal wire is gonna go in there. 
your FC, your, your actual camera control is going to go in right here. And we have the 5 volt, which is going to be a red one. And then your black one is going to go in right here. And all the way over to the right right here is where your video out is going to be right here. That's going to be the, probably the yellow or white wire going from your VTX to the flight controller here. And then we have, uh, I believe that's a T4 right there. That looks like a T4. Yes, it is T4. So uh, if you wanted to do any type of smart audio, your smart audio cable would go right there. And we have the 9 volt right there, which is really, really great. And we have ground right here and we have T3 and TR4. So um, different types of smart audio setups, depending on where you want to put things. And now you're looking at the far right rail of this board. This is looking pretty good here. We have RSSI up at the very top. Everything is pretty clearly labeled. We have ground here, five volt, 3.3 volt. That's gonna be for you Spectrum guys if you want to do any type of DSMX style receiver. Uh, we have the T6 right there. We have R3, R6, SPT, and we also have the M5 there, maybe motor five and motor six and motor seven options right here, which is pretty cool. And we have SCL there, SDA, and five volt right there. So uh, a lot of options on this outside right hand rail. Now over on the left hand side over here, we have the USB port and an actual boot button. This is pretty sweet because this is a lot easier to press with your fingernail. If you're trying to flash the firmware on this board, um, this is a lot easier to deal with than the little gold button. Um, but these are prone to break off. If you hit something with that, it might break off. You also have some LED lights here to let you know that um, the board is functioning and which mode you're in. Sometimes it will light up as you switch modes and it'll let you know that your mode switch is active. Now you guys get to see the back rail back here. This is in the very back of the flight controller and this is looking really clean. These are not labeled, these three right here, um, but we do have labels on the rest of them here. And we'll talk about this real quick. This is the current sensor back here. You have also right next to that, you have an R5 option right here as well. You can just barely see R5, but you also have ground there and positive here. And over on this far left right here, you have ground and where your battery will come up. So um, if you're using the harness, you can just plug this in right here on the very bottom and not have to worry about these top tabs. But if you were doing this manually, this is kind of cool that they have these options up here because you also have the other options for motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four right there. So if you want to bring your signal wires up that way from your ESCs, you can also do that. And you also have options for your buzzer here. We have negative and actually that's positive right here and negative here. We have the LED right there five volt and we also have ground on the very end so now i have the board flipped over i'm just going to show you how this harness works and uh, show you what everything is and just get all the wires untangled there and plug this in for you from the very top actually the pins are on the bottom so uh, top on this side if it's facing up so we're just going to set that down and the very far left wire the first one over is going to be ground and then this is the battery plus wire right there. So if you want to power this baby, this is how you do that. The next wire over is going to be your M1 wire. That's your motor signal one wire. Your, the next one over is M2, like I showed you before on the very top. If you wanted to do that manually for tabs. And then this is three, four, and those are all yellow there for your signals, which is cool. And then over here is current and the R5 right there. So um, pretty easy layout right there. If you just follow along with the schematic that they have and solder all those up. But overall, there are some decent specs on here. And I say decent because this thing goes all the way up to 8S. So um, guys that want to set up an X-Class type of 13-inch uh, racer, 13 inch props is insane on the X class. If you haven't seen an X class racer yet, FPV racer, they're totally insane. Um, and the problems that they've been having with their flight controllers is they burn out all the time. And this one is rated all the way from three to eight S, which I think is really awesome. So um, you can put tons of voltage through this and power this right off your battery terminals if you want to. So um, really sweet. You don't have to have any type of uh, voltage regulator or, or downstep the voltage to 5 volt to not fry this board, which is super awesome, 5 or 12 volt. Just run it 
all the way up to 8S, totally crazy. Um, you also have 3.3 options for DSMX guys, which is great. You have a five volt out option at 1.5 amp. You have a nine volt out option, which I also love because um, sometimes you might need a little more voltage going out to something running uh, over over five volt. Just make sure you don't hook that nine volt up to a five volt camera or something like that. Also smart port on UART1 and you have T3, T3 RX3 for UART3 TX and RX for your receivers and you have UART4 RX for your VTX and OSD on T4 and R4, TX6 RX6 for UART6 TX and RX for GPS or Bluetooth etc which is also really awesome. That means you could plug in some GPS to this baby and run iNav um, on any type of wing. So if you have the PDB set up to uh, run that type of aircraft, you can run all the way up to an 8S battery, which is going to get you some serious, serious range out there. I might be a huge plane running something like this, but um, as long as there's a built-in barometer on here, which I do see, it has a 12C device for a compass and a barometer, etc. So it looks like you might have to um, you might have to add in something on here. But I might contact the company just to make sure that this is not an external device. But it, it, if it's not built-in barometer, then you couldn't really set this up on a wing. Um, you definitely want to have a barometer and a compass option to be able to uh, to run this. Now the compass is going to be external and um, the barometers are sometimes built in as is the case on the, um, the Maytech S STD type flight controllers but uh, also have buzzer which is great for 5 volt output and you have buzzer signal LEDs this has a little bit of everything on here so but kind of a nice looking flight controller. It does remind me of that Hollybro F4 they did with their floating processor and um, it was a really nice looking board so I wonder if this is like some type of a rehash of that board or some type of clone of that board but um, for now as much as I know about it it is an original from Flywo so uh, hopefully it's not rebranded and it's just a, a straight up clone but we'll uh, we'll see how this one performs if I get this on a quad I will definitely do a build for you and uh, show you how to set some of the stuff up on here if I have time coming up in the next month on the channel and uh, I appreciate you guys watching this review this has been a fun one to look over. This is a pretty nice looking flight controller. So comes with some extra gear in here as well. That extra ribbon cable, which is pretty sweet. And again, I said, don't use this piece of foam. You can for sure just toss that to the side. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the package and uh, put this all back in the box. Hopefully we can do that build video. But thanks again for watching you guys. I'm Justin Davis, and this has been the Flywoo F405 flight controller. Um, pretty cool little flight controller. You can check them out on their website. It's flywoo.net. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.